I'm going to tie a sparkle wing trico and I'm starting off with a size 16 dry fly hook in the vise but you can tie these uh, down to 20s, 22s, 24s, etc. The material works well to tie them pretty small. The thread that I use is an 8 out black and again as you get smaller you can adjust this. I'll start this pretty much anywhere on the hook shank but one thing you'll notice is I'm going to leave that uh, tag end to the thread in there. I'm not going to remove that because I'm going to use that to uh, help split my tail. And the tail that I'm going to use is a micro fibbit, but you can use uh, dry fly fibers for this if you like, and they're probably a little easier to, to work with than these uh, fibbits. I'll trim two off, and I'll set this on top, and I want it to be at least a hook shank in length. These have pretty long tails, and I'll tie this in directly on top of the of the hook shank and so now you'll notice that these tails are are clumped together and so one thing that you can do to make them uh, separate is just to push up and then they'll they'll separate from one another and now you can take that tag end of thread that you left on through and it'll keep them split and now I'll work my thread up and I'll tie everything in together just so that it has a a uniform body to it and then I can trim that trim that tag off. So now I can work on the wings and for that I'm going to use a crystal flash and about the easiest way I've found to make these wings um, and still it can be tricky at times is to take four strands and all I'll do is make a, a loop out of them so I've got now four strands looped So I've got those strands looped together. I'll set it on top and however far they extend from your thread to the end of them is how far out the wings are going to go. And then I'll come back and trim them and I'll tie down tie down those ends and now I can separate these two um, or separate these what are now four loops into two wings and so just kind of need to get in there and pull them apart And once they're, once they start to separate, they're a little easier to, to work with. So now the final step to this is to put some dubbing on here and I'll use a black dry fly dubbing for this. Take a handful of pinches and just dub in and around the wings. We can give you another chance to make sure they're positioned just how you want them and then I'll come back and 
build out a little thread head and whip finish. And trim. And that is a sparkle wing trico.